I could not be any more happy right now. I have just drove down this long road, probably about 10 minutes, not seeing a house, which in North Wales, I didn't know you could do that. Just this twisting, winding road that took me further and further from civilization until I've reached this trail path. The sun is out and it is glorious. And today, I'm gonna be going and hiking the second tallest mountain in Wales using a hiking route that very few people know about. It's about eight hours long. And along the way, I am gonna be wild camping because I've never wild camped on top of a mountain. I said if you climbed Just where it was needed I've reached the lake. There's no better sight. The water is so clear and the sun is out. No one's around. It is the perfect place to go for a dip and fill up my water bottles with just oh, clear, cool water straight from a, a mountaintop. That is amazing. And what a hidden gem, this place. <sighs> This is awesome. What a great spot. This is amazing. That water. Oh, it's so cold. But it is exactly what the doctor ordered today on such a hot day. Oh. This is an incredible spot, all to myself. <laughs> Amazing. Still afraid to go in and swim though, because it is cold. <laughs> it is cold. Here we go. <sighs> That's so refreshing. Oh my goodness. So unfortunately I have a bit of a problem with filling up my water bottles. I forgot to bring iodine tablets or any filter at all. I literally left it in the car like a really smart person. <laughs> so I have nothing uh, to make sure that the water's clean and, and I don't get sick drinking it. But this is the only water source here, this is the only water source for the whole of the hike, so for two days, and I'm already, I've got about this much water left in one bottle, and that's it. So I don't really have a choice. I'm just gonna have to fill them up here and, and really hope, <laughs> really hope, please, that I don't get sick and that it's fine and this water is fine to drink. It should be, it should be. It looks clear, should be fine, it looks, yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks clear. Now I'm doubling back on myself a bit and then I'm gonna head up to the top trail on the ridge of these mountains and make my way to the second tallest mountain in all of Wales, so let's do it. Woo! <laughs> I am back on trail. That is the mountain that I'm trying to get to. It is over a thousand meters and it's the second tallest mountain in Wales. And sort of the reason why I've decided to go for the second tallest and not the first tallest is a reason I think is really apparent throughout this whole walk and it's that even though it's just a couple of meters less, it is so much more quiet than Snowdon. Snowdon is absolutely jam-packed. I drove past it to get to here, and the car parks are full, and this is a Tuesday, and it's just packed. So just picking the second biggest one, I get equally beautiful scenery, a giant mountain to climb, but with absolutely no one here. <laughs> so. You know, that is why I've decided to go for it. I 
have made it to the top of the mountain. Woo! That was quite a weird woo. <laughs> but I am on top of the second tallest mountain in Wales. <laughs> I'm just hiking down to one of the lower mountains with a bit more grass on it and I think there I will set up my tent and hopefully get to see an amazing sunrise. I've made it. What an awesome clamber up. And I'm finally at the mountain where I am going to go on wild camp. So the mission now is to of course soak in the beautiful view we've worked hard to see and then find a nice camping spot somewhere flat ground and hopefully fluffy grass. This is absolutely the most beautiful wild camping spot I've ever been to. North Wales has blown me away. All right, so I've just got my tent up. The sun is beginning to set and I'm just gonna chill out, read a book, wait for the sun to set and just hopefully get some beautiful colors. But that's everything done. I love this campsite. I mean, <laughs> this is why wild camping is amazing. This right here. everyone as you can see the Sun is starting to rise it's 6 a.m. I woke up surrounded by spiders which was a nightmare but then I walked out and was surrounded by mountains which was heaven so overall I'd say good morning <laughs> I just gotta brush my teeth and get just packed up and then I'm gonna start heading towards the sunset or sunrise sorry it's too early mm -hmm. 